What's going on everybody? Justin here with Tech Army. And I just kind of wanted to share my personal experience with getting a uh, triple hernia repair done uh, Wednesday, so five days ago. Today's day five of recovery. So I've watched a lot of videos before I went and had my procedure done and I found that I learned a lot of helpful stuff. So hopefully I can give you guys some helpful tips. So day before surgery, um, kind of normal, I went to work. Uh, I watched my diet coming three days before surgery. You definitely want to watch your diet and you don't want to eat um, a lot of clogging food, if that makes sense. I just ate salads and super clean foods for three days before my surgery. Uh, morning of, um, my fiance took me, you're going to need a ride there. You cannot drive yourself back home after the surgery, after anesthesia. Um, I originally got diagnosed for two surgery or two hernias. So it was going to be one surgery taking care of both left and right inguinal, inguinal hernias. Um, and later to find out the doctor actually found a third one in my belly button. But morning of, um, didn't eat breakfast. You can't eat. I was advised not to eat 12 hours prior, ate dinner the night before morning of woke up got ready. I had an arrival time of 7.15 in the morning. Um, woke up, drove there, uh, got to the hospital with this coronavirus going on right now. My fiance was not able to come with me, so I went in by myself. Went into the front office, checked in, filled out some paperwork, waited for about 15 or so minutes, got called to the back. Um, I walked to the back of the uh, it's an outpatient hospital, so it's not really a hospital. It's more of a surgery center. Walked to my little cubicle room and had a pull-around curtain that went around. Um, climbed in the bed. My nurse came in. She asked me to get undressed and get into a, a, a gown that buttoned down on the back. So I had to take everything off. If you wear jewelry, I advise you to take that off. Nose rings, earrings, whatever. Uh, take that off prior to going. Um, if you wear contacts bring contact case and solution. And I brought my glasses so I could at least see something when I went back. Um, I got into the gown, put the socks on that they provided with me, put everything into a bag. Um, and it kind of went somewhat fast. So we were ahead of schedule by 30 minutes. So I just sat in the bed for 30 minutes. I FaceTimed my fiance and talked to her while I was waiting. Um, the anesthesiologist came in next. He talked to me, told me what was going to happen, what, you know, he was going to do his portion of the job. And then uh, the nurse and another nurse came back in and that's when they did the IV. I got my IV done right here on my hand on one of my veins. It's not that bad. Um, I just advise if you're squeamish and needles, just look away completely. Um, just a little bit of pressure in the hand. She set the IV in me, uh, taped it onto my arm. Uh, and then after that, she came in, the other two nurses left and I've just sat there for a while, about 15 minutes. And then they both came back and it was time to get shaved. So they shaved a good portion, probably from my chest down to right above my groin area. They shaved it smooth. And then they initialed me on both sides with my initials JP. After that, my doctor came in with the anesthesiologist. Uh, he's a super nice guy. Uh, kind of told me what the plan was, what was going to happen. And then from there, it was rock and roll. They, uh, anesthesiologist came in. Um, he told me he was giving me a wine cocktail in my IV, which is more of a uh, kind of anti-anxiety, kind of calm you down before you go back. Shot that in my IV. I didn't really feel any different as they were wheeling me to the operating room. Um, I got pushed back. I came into a big, bright, cold room. Uh, I mean, it was fast. I got in there. I saw probably 10 people in there. Anesthesiologist told me, uh, to breathe through a mask for oxygen. So I just take some deep breaths. And, uh, he said, we're, we're going to administer the anesthesia. So he said, I remember him telling me it's going to be warm in your hand. And I thought that was kind of strange. And as he did it, I could feel the warmth of the anesthesia medicine come into my veins. And I mean, within a second and a half, I was out. I, it's, it's very strange if you've never had anesthesia. It almost feels like you're taking a very long blink. You know, you're laying there and all of a sudden you're starting to kind of open your eyes and you don't know if you're done or not, but 
it was a, I was done. So as he said, he was doing the two hernias. He was going with the camera through my belly button and found a third uh, umbilical hernia. So he went ahead and fixed that as well. But waking up for anesthesia, it's not bad. You're super drugged up. You're not really nervous or anything. You just kind of wake up and it's kind of like you go in and out of sleep. They came in with some, uh, with some Sprite and some graham crackers. And I had had surgery back probably 10 years ago when I was a kid on my arm. And I knew that I had to get nauseous from uh, anesthesia. So I told them that. They gave me anti-nausea and a pill. And I still ended up vomiting twice uh, after I s got up to sit in the wheelchair to leave. But, uh, yeah, just waking up. They give you something to drink on. They want to make sure you're coherent before they send you out. Um, I woke up. I drank some Sprite. I had a couple graham crackers. Uh, when I sat up to sit into the wheelchair, I got super nauseous. I vomited in a little bag. It wasn't, I was so drugged up. It just wasn't anything to me. I, you know, it, it was what it was. The nurses, they're used to that happening. So, you know, don't be embarrassed if that is something that happens to you. If you are someone with a weak stomach like me that gets nauseous. Um, I got wheeled out to my fiance's car. Um, I stood up, I sat down in it and I live about 45 minutes from the surgery center. So it was kind of just in and out of sleep the whole time. I was dozing in and out. She brought me a pillow. I just laid back and relaxed. Um, just some going home tips. On your way home, whoever's driving you home, stop and get your medication then and there. Don't wait till it's too late and you're in a lot of pain to have somebody to go and get it because the first two days you can't move, at least in my experience. Get the medicine on the way home. Um, and... Uh, the day before you go into your surgery, prep somewhere to stay in your house. I didn't do this, and I wish I would have, because when you get brought home from surgery, basically wherever you get taken to that first day is where you're going to stay for two days. You, I couldn't sit up. I couldn't, uh, you know, I couldn't move around for two days. I was basically couch locked. So I wish I would have set up um, on my couch a little better little station with a table close that I could have put my drinks, my medication, snacks, um, and stuff like that. Uh, definitely get something set up. So when you come home from the hospital, you're going to shuffle in, go to where you're going to stay, lay down and just cool it for two days. Uh, sorry if I sound a little out of breath after the anesthesia and laying on the couch for three days, I'm a very active person. So I've, I've noticed that I'm trying to regain my stamina back in my lungs of what I used to be. Um, day one, my pain level was about a six out of 10. Um, sleeping was a pain. I kind of would nap through the day. This is the day after I came home. I came home from surgery and I basically was in no pain from the anesthesia. Um, I slept okay that night, but this is day one of recovery. Day one of recovery, pain level was about a six out of 10. Um, I just kind of napped throughout the day. Uh, my intestines, my kidneys, my liver, my just everything was super swollen. You could feel just bloated and you could feel your intestines were very swollen. Uh, I just stayed on a light diet. I ate really light, didn't eat lunch that day. Um, I learned a good tip from YouTube. Uh, I started my stool softener day one of recovery. Uh, Sitting up, I could not sit up at all. I couldn't, my fiance tried to help me sit up. I couldn't sit up. It's just, it's not really a sharp pain. It's more of a uh, pressure. There's a lot of pressure in your abdomen. So as you're, when you're laying down, I was stretched out so my muscles could, you know, heal very well. Um, but when I would sit up, it was just real tight and a lot of pressure. So the first day I just, I was laid out flat. I would lift my legs as much as I could to keep blood flowing throughout my legs um, but just laying on the couch, movies, you know, don't feel like you have to do anything because you don't. Um, stayed on a light diet. I started a stool softener to help down the line so it could get in my system and, uh, stay ahead of your pain. Take your pain medication. Mine, I had tramadol and it was two tablets every six hours. So I set reminders on my phone. I took those two tablets. I woke up in the middle of the night to take them to just stay ahead of the pain so it doesn't get to the point where it's so bad you're waiting for an hour for those pain meds to kick in. Um, lots of ice. I mean, I bought four ice packs that were about this big on Amazon. And then they gave me this one. 
that I got sent home from the hospital, this little tab comes off and uh, you fill it with just ice from my refrigerator. Um, so I've just rotated those constantly. To just whenever it would get warm, new one came on. Um, day two, pain level was about a five out of 10. It was a little bit less. Um, that morning, I you know pushed myself as much as I could to sit up. I finally sat up, which felt great. Uh, still was on a light diet. I just sat on the couch and, you know, every now and again, I would just kick my legs up and down to keep blood flowing to the bottom uh, half of my body. Um, I couldn't stand up. I tried standing up three different occasions in the morning, afternoon, and night. Couldn't do it. Just standing up, it was, I would get very lightheaded. I guess anesthesia wasn't out of my body completely, but I would get very lightheaded and nauseous. So I just, you know, laid back day two. Um, that evening I got, you know, a wash rag and a, and a bowl of warm water and soap. Washed my face off, my hair, uh, as much as my body as I could. Washed around my incisions very lightly. Don't drag across it, just kind of blot it. Um, day two was like day one, just on the couch and just watching movies. Ice pack, staying on pain meds. Now day three was a huge relief waking up. Day three, my pain level was about a three out of ten. Um, day three, I finally stood up. I walked around uh, from my living room to my kitchen and back and sat down. And then the next time I got up later that afternoon, I walked to the kitchen and back and just tried to beat my personal record. Uh, I took a half dose of pain meds. I dropped it down. Uh, just the constipate, just getting constipated from the pain meds is just, I didn't want to be super constipated. So I tried to cut off my pain meds as fast as possible. So day three, I dropped it to half dose. I took one pill instead of two every six hours. Um, day three is when I started to feel the constipation. I just, I haven't had a bowel movement. So I just started feeling super constipated in my stomach and just, I could feel the pressure. Um, I started eating prunes. My fiance got me some prunes. I started eating prunes on day three. Um, started, kept taking my stool softener. Um, no bowel movement. I was able to shuffle that evening into the uh, shower and I brought a fold out lawn chair and set it in my stand up shower so I could have somewhere just in case I was in the shower. I didn't know if I was going to, you know, get lightheaded. It's better to be safe than sorry on all of this. Just, you know, for the first day that I walked around this rolly chair that I'm sitting in, I would hold on to it and I would walk with it just in case I had to sit down because the last thing you want to do is be walking through your house and fall down. And I can't imagine trying to get up after having this done. Um, day three, the end of the evening was my first time I was able to get in the shower. I shuffled my way into the bathroom. My fiance stayed in there with me. I stood up, I showered, felt amazing afterwards. That was kind of one of those, uh, one of those barriers that you break that you finally shower you're moving around you're starting to feel a lot better because day one and two you're just on couch lock and it's just it is what it is um sleeping day uh, day three in the evening uh wasn't too bad um it's just a lot of since you sleep during the day at night time i kept waking up i would wake up at like midnight 1 a.m watch netflix fall asleep sleep from you know 3 a.m to 5 a.m wake up go just kind of in and out of it uh, day four was a huge breakthrough, which would be yesterday for me. Uh, yesterday, I woke up. My pain level was about a two out of 10. I cut off no pain meds. I, yesterday, I didn't take any pain medication. Um, I kept eating my prunes in the morning, prunes in the afternoon, and prunes during the uh, in the evening. Um, I was walking, full walking with slight discomfort yesterday. I mean, I was walking around everywhere. I walked out to my driveway. I walked in the backyard, uh, I watered my grass. I mean, I was, I felt a lot better yesterday. I was able to actually get up, move around comfortably. You still know it's there. I mean, if you cough, if you try to walk too fast, if you, you know, twist your body too quick, you're gonna, you're gonna get reminded that you had surgery a couple days ago. Um, I tried to get in the car with my fiance. Uh, I made it about three blocks down out of our neighborhood and I had to go back, just the bumps of the car kind of was just shaking just my intestines and my, my stomach, and it was just a little uncomfortable. Um, everything just started to get easier yesterday. I mean, everything, it just it's almost like the clouds opened up. I was able to be myself again, walk, um, go outside. Fresh air was amazing, you know, and walking a lot is a big thing because as you walk, you're promoting blood flow to your lower half of your body, 
And what the doctor told me is that, you know, it's not likely, but there's chances whenever you're on couch lock that you can get a uh, blood clot in your legs. And that's, I didn't want that. So I made sure to make walking a priority as much as I could bear it. Um, and then today's day five of recovery. My pain level's at about a one out of 10. When I'm sitting down on the couch, laying down, I have no pain at all. Um, watching a funny movie was a bad idea last night. We watched a funny movie. I started laughing. I had to turn it off because it hurt. So you still do get reminded. It's I'm only on day five. I get reminded I had a hernia surgery. Laughing, coughing, sneezing, you know, it, it, it you get reminded. Oh, and uh, day four, I had my first bowel movement. That was when I was able to go to the restroom on my own was yesterday after eating prunes. Uh, I ate prunes on day three. Um, started my stool softener from when I got home the first day. And day four is when I finally had a bowel movement. All it's just a lot of pressure. I almost felt like it got released. Um, and I felt a lot better on day four. But yeah, day five, um, less bloated, less tight. Have a lot more energy. Um, no pain. Haven't been on pain medication. Uh, I took work off. I had my surgery on Wednesday. I was off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today's Monday. Um, I'll probably go back to work maybe Wednesday. I'm a mechanic, so I'll be on light duty, very light duty. So just give yourself time. I mean, I had, you know, you don't want to do this a second time. You don't want to rush yourself and reopen stitches or anything or reopen that mesh. My uh, surgery was mesh surgery, so I have three different pieces of mesh in me. Um, you don't want to rush it and tear it and have to go through this again because, you know, you're rushing it. Take your time. Let your body heal. If, you know, let your work know or whatever you do that I need time to heal. Um, my doctor said two weeks before I can lift anything over the weight of like a gallon of milk. And then about six weeks before I can really lift anything over about 40 pounds. Um, that's where I'm at now. I've been just hanging out uh, at home. I've got my ice pack. Ice pack has been going the whole time I've been here. I'll show you what my incisions look like. I've got one. I've got one in my belly button. One a little bit lower and then one pretty low. Um, I'm assuming this is where the camera went and then these two were where the uh, prods for the laparoscopic part happened. <coughs> uh Still a little bit bloated, um, but other than that, I mean, today's been a really good day. I've been able to go outside. I walked down to the mailbox um, and just, just been relaxing, just, you know, keeping icing on it and uh, just going. I got to go back in two weeks for a checkup with my doctor. So that's it. I hope I helped. If you have any comments or questions or anything, just leave a comment below and ask me. I'll try to get back, you know. And let you guys know because that was a big thing for me was watching YouTube videos. I was super nervous before my surgery. Don't be. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, I was in and out of the hospital in three hours, four hours from when I went into when I got home. I mean, it was it was quick. Uh, you're on medication and, you know, they drug you up good enough. You don't remember anything. Um, anything bad. I mean, you don't get nervous. I mean, I remember what happened and everything, but... Just don't be nervous about it. Get it taken care of. You don't want it to get to the point where it's, you know, so bad. Uh, let your body heal. My doctor told me if it ever were to happen again, like if I rushed it day two and I, I push that mesh out, you can't go back laparoscopic. They'd have to make a big incision and go back in and repair it. So I, I, I didn't want to do that. Um, you know, prioritize movement after day two if you're able to. You want to get that blood flowing. Keep everything within reach. I pulled my coffee table up to me. I had my drinks, my snacks, my medication. Um, I had a Gatorade bottle that I had to urinate in for two days because I couldn't get up and physically walk to the bathroom. I don't know if that's because I had a triple mesh and it was a lot harder than a single or double, but I had to urinate in a Gatorade bottle. And my fiance, she's a trooper. She was able to take care of me while that was happening. Um, there might be something you have to do. So just keep that, you know, in the back of your mind that, you know, don't be embarrassed to ask for help. Ask, you know, whoever's staying with you, your mom, your dad, your your sister, brother, family member, significant other. Just ask them for help and let them know, hey, I'm going to need you to take care of me for a couple days. 
um, keep everything within reach so you don't have to, I didn't like to bother her too much. I kept everything, you know, within reach of me. The only thing she really helped me with was refilling my ice pack and that's about it. Um, I had some back pain just from laying down all the time. I've always had back pain, but just laying on the couch all day made my back hurt. Um, I have a little massager thing that spins around. I use that and it helped a lot if you have back pain. Um, you're going to sleep kind of like crap the first couple nights. You know, it is what it is. Just watch TV when you wake up. Don't think about it. Keep your mind on other things. And another thing is stay hydrated. Lots of water. I was drinking a lot. I drank as much water as I could. If my urine wasn't coming out clear, I wasn't drinking enough water. While your body's healing, it needs water, it needs nutrients, and it needs blood flow. Those are the three big things. Um, definitely brace yourself for coughing, sneezing, and laughing. If you're going to cough, you, you might get something in your throat. Last night, I uh, had some phlegm in my throat, and I just, you know, I grabbed one of my couch pillows. I laid it on my stomach and just pressed firmly and just kind of, you know your limits when you're coughing. Just be easy on yourself. Don't don't force too hard. You know, and you got it. If you're gonna you're gonna have to cough or sneeze or laugh at some point. So just brace yourself as much. It helps bracing yourself with a pillow. Um, just get up and walk as much as you can after day two or three. That was for me. Maybe if you have a single uh, hernia repair, maybe day two or three is a little bit easier. This is coming from me. I mean, I had basically the worst of the worst. I had all three spots that you could really get hernias happened all at once. Um, just, you know, positive attitude, take your medication, stay ahead of the pain. It's not that big of a deal. You got it. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm someone that suffers with anxiety. I was super anxious going in. It wasn't that bad. Get it taken care of, take care of yourself, heal up. You'll be good to go. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll try to get back to them and uh, answer any questions you guys have and y'all have a good day. Bye.